I couldn't sleep that night. Oh, jeez. Oh, I forgot how <laughs> dark this house was. But anyways, welcome back, party members, to Hollow Cocoon. Uh, today, we're going to be continuing this adventure as the mysterious spooky lady uh, follows us, and we hopefully do not uh, suffer a painful and horrible death. Okay, so our health is still good. That was something that, after we finished recording, I was like, wait, did we take damage when she first grabbed us? Uh, something that Drana can't pull out. Well, I should not be turning on the water then. Spooky lady, I do not want to play with you. I need you to, uh, hopefully stay at the front of the house where you are, uh, with yourself and not us so i'm guessing we need some type of string or maybe like a hook to get that out of there so for right now i'm just going to kind of keep wandering around here and hopefully we can maybe escape the house is what i'm thinking wait no don't make the music more eerie i don't like that All right, well, I'm hoping it's not out here. It's out here. <laughs> please. Uh, please stay over there. Thank you. Hello. Uh, that door. Closed. That door. Uh, closed? This door. Um... Yes, closed. The person looks like mom. I'm glad. What I'm not glad is that that thing is in the- is probably coming in the house. The Miyama family crest. Okay. Oh, this is an important number. Please don't forget it. Looks like a number was written here, but it's been ripped out. There are faint marks on the paper. Ah. Oh shit. I just hear it opening the door. Goodbye, family residents. I never want to see you again. What? Well, I guess we live in here now. There's something maybe we can find back here. Can we bludgeon her with a uh, rock? You know, the old uh, ghost versus rock trick? I mean, I hope that was the right play, but uh, we're, we'll find out. We'll find out soon enough indeed. Poor chicken. Can I not just break out through the uh, the tall grass? I guess not. Okay, poker for raking out ashes and cinders. <laughs> it's like, uh, so sorry, uh, spooky demon, I need to play my 10 yen game. No. Oh, there it is. Okay, so she's pretty, I don't know, far in the house, which I'm hoping means that she won't come this way. Oh shit. Fuck. Shit, run, 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 run. I sure hope she's not quicker than me. Wait. <laughs> Please do not come in here. I sure hope you didn't notice me getting into this closet. What, what nice long fingers you have. I sure hope you don't use them against my nice frail uh, flesh. Well, I wish I knew the direction that she went. Leaving open all the doors in here was probably a bad idea. Not one of my best ones. 
So what I'm hoping, because I believe the bathroom that had the key unit is right down this hallway here. Oh, this was not the room. Hello? Spooky lady. I sure hope you're not camping over here in the bathroom. All right, so can we use the poker? Let's go. We, we got the dresser key that grandma lost. Um, no. I don't know what you're doing, but I do not like that sound. I'm just gonna go creeping on in here and close the door. All right, dresser key. Let's go with the like six pixels that is this drawer. Okay, so we found a pencil, which means we can use it on that notebook to uh, get, increase our brain cell size. What? What? Where? Where? Oh, she's coming this way. No. I need like a, a spray bottle to deter the demon. Okay, so it sounds like she passed and she's going down that way. Oh, I hate that it's like a 3D sound on this. I can just hear her walking down the hallway. There, yep, she's like right, she's like right there. I hate this. She opens the door, fuck that. Please do not look for the tiefling in the closet. Uh, am I just gonna have to like sprint for it? And please do not look around the corner that I am sitting behind. Okay, thank you. What? What? No. That, that's that's an illegal uh, detection sound. All right, you you big spooky shit. I need you to walk down that hallway, please. Where in the world did she go? All right, so that door is still closed. Uh, I sure hope she didn't hear that. All right, scribble, 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 scribble. Eight one one three. Maybe that's for the cylinder lock then. Which I think we can make it there through the backyard. Uh, but I think we're also fine just going this way so long as she didn't. I don't think she went down this hallway again. I'm going to turn off the light in case she's outside the window. No. I hate that swelling. Even if she's like not here, it's just like, haha, we got you. We're gonna make you think she's here. Oh, pff. I saw the shadow elongating along the door and I'm like, well, fuck that. Entire episode 101. Haven just says fuck that to any and everything that's in this house. Eight. One. One, three, let's go. We're breaking and entering into the spooky room. <gasps> oh, thank you. <laughs> All 
sorry. Or, please, okay. I will also take that as a uh, acceptable response to this monster. Is it gone? I sure hope so. What the hell is that? It's a monster. Was Kinu attacked by that thing too? No, I'm pretty sure Kinu is raising that. And that's why she left us this money. Let's go. To Miss Kinu, I'm writing to inform you about the results of your examination at our clinic. Based on the diagnostic images obtained from the x-ray, we have identified an abnormality in your cranial region that appears to be a brain tumor. The symptoms you have been experiencing, such as your headaches and severe forgetfulness, are likely related to this tumor. It is important to address this condition promptly. The tumor requires quick and immediate treatment. It is important to note that your memory may continue to deteriorate, and the painkillers you have been taking will only provide limited relief. I strongly advise you to discuss this matter with your family and make arrangements to visit our clinic as soon as possible. One of Grandpa's samples. He sure loved butterflies, sat me on his lap, and talked about them all the time. Dear Yui, thank you for your letter. Kinu and I are doing just fine. So Minato has entered elementary school, eh? My, how time flies. It feels like just yesterday he was a baby. I can't help but think maybe it's because I'm getting older. More than anything, how close you are to your family warms my heart. Yui, when you're thirsty, remember what I told you. Try not to hold it. This burden is not your fault after all. You feel guilty for keeping something hidden from Eiji, but you're afraid of telling him also? Eiji is a kind man. Otherwise, I would never have given him my blessing. Whenever you are ready to tell him, I'm sure Eiji will accept you for who you are. A spooky demon. For years, you've been worried that Kinu doesn't like you. Kinu didn't attend your wedding and didn't care when she became a grandmother. But Kinu is like this with everyone, including me. She never leaves that house under any circumstance. It may be difficult for you to understand, but Kinu could never be a good mother or grandmother. Oof. That's why I took you out of her house and moved us into town. I still feel guilty for giving you that feeling of emptiness from lacking a mother, despite having one. I'm not asking you to forgive Kinu for her behavior, but I want you to understand that Kinu has her own reasons. I was so happy when Eiji asked me to leave Kinu and come live with you three. It brought a tear to my eye. Thanks to him, I was able to return to the Miyama house where Kinu is with a clear conscience. Now you have Eiji and Minato, there is no need for me to be by your side. I've left Kinu alone for a long time. She's a strong woman, but as she grows older, I want to give her my support. Remember this well. Yui, you're my pride and joy. Whenever you're in trouble or feeling anxious, you can always rely on me for whatever. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go. More drugs. Well, I sure hope that the demon cannot follow us through, uh, doors. Or the outside world. Is that a... a storage shed? Oh, I sure hope so. And I sure hope it's not a demonic ritual shrine. Oh. Well, we probably just opened years of demonic uh, entities that lived in here. And we've let them out to be free in the world. All according to plan. Grandma's key, an old key grandma had, no one knows what it's for. Oh, I wonder if it's for this? Let's go. Hello. Oh, another 10 yen game. Uh, dear Kinu, I hope this letter finds you well. This is A.G. Jinba. It has been quite some time since the untimely passing of my beloved wife, Yui. Today, I'm reaching out to you with a few inquiries regarding my son, Minato, who is now 13 years old. Minato has started attending middle school this year, and I wanted to share something I've noticed with you. Since the summer, he has been getting unusually thirsty and consumes a substantial amount of water. Initially, I thought it was the hot weather and didn't think much of it. However, as autumn passed and winter came, he was still constantly thirsty, prompting me to seek medical advice, however the doctor found nothing wrong with him. Thinking back, I recall that Yui always had a tendency to drink a lot of water. Before her passing, I discussed it with her. She mentioned that this was something she inherited from her father. She assured me that there was no need to worry. I'm curious to know if your husband mentioned anything about this predisposition. If you have any knowledge regarding this matter, I would greatly appreciate your answer. I eagerly await your response. Warm regards, Eiji. So that's why I got so thirsty. It's genetic. 
passed on from mom and grandpa. Hmm. But we have 10 yen game. This one's a, a lot harder than the previous one. Oops. There's so many scary sounds in here. But I don't care, we're, we're playing game. Ah, uh, a wooden plank, garden scroll, a hanging scroll depicting a woman buried in a garden. Much like our parents from the funny coffin game, except they're buried in the ocean. Let's go, money. Hmm, it won't open, there's no keyhole or lock in sight. Can we open the chest? Is there untold riches in there? These uh, stairs look very solid. Uh, scroll depicting a woman and a hawk. Huh. It's gonna be puzzle time and my brain will melt. Winter. Oh no. Autumn. Let's see. Woman on a boat. I remove. Uh, I'm gonna do nothing for now. All right. Once upon a time, there lived a princess named Princess Mayu, adorned with beauty untold. Beneath the spring's moon glow, Princess Mayu's sister, consumed by envy's woe, led her to a fearsome mountain where lions roamed free, leaving her stranded, a perilous decree. Yet, to their surprise, Princess Mayu returned home, her spirit unbroken and her body whole. As the summer moon shimmered above, Princess Mayu's sister, driven by Envy's love, guided her to a shadowy mountain steep where hawks flocked, secrets to keep, but again, Princess Mayu defied her fate, returning unscathed through destiny's gate. With autumn's moon shining bright, the sister's patience reached its height. She set Princess Mayu adrift on a boat to a distant sea, the princess was afloat. Yet, as the night embraced the land, Princess Mayu returned, defying her sister's hand. Under winter's moon, fear took hold, the sister's heart now bitter and cold. She led Princess Mayu to a garden wide, digging a hole deep and dark inside. On that night, the princess did not appear. The sister worried, though her conscience clear. Within the hole which she peered through lay a cocoon with a hole and tiny white worms askew. This tale. Mom read that to me oh, once as a kid. I couldn't sleep that night. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? I would like you to not come in here, please. Oh, yes, money. All right, so winter was the boat, the garden, right? All right, so winter garden, autumn boat, spring lion, summer hawk. This is summer. No. There we go. Summer hawk. A sound. Is that from below? Well, that's where the demon is. And, uh, we know nothing good comes from that. Uh, why does it give me the, the check option there? Okay, it's dangerous to go outside. I was like, um, please do not allow that to, uh, come through. I'm just gonna save, just so we don't have to redo that puzzle in case we do get, uh, murdered. Mmm, more money! Let's go. We're gonna be so rich. Hmm. Well, we're going into uh, Grandma's catacombs, the well-known place that all grandmothers have right under their house. This is why she didn't want to sell the property. A normal cage for a normal growing boy such as myself. Lord QB, from the hit show Madoka Magica, please forgive me. I have seen nothing, I have told no one, my lips shall remain sealed, I promise to serve the Miyama family forever and ever, so please let me leave this place. No. You have to become a magical girl, whoever's, uh, writing this. I too am a human being, please do not use my flesh as a meal for that creature. Let's go! 
I had 10 yen down here. Oh, nice. At least we're able to leave. Hopefully. <laughs> what the? The dead end. All right. Back to Haven's Illiteracy 101. The Miyama family's livelihood through the generation revolves around the safeguarding the silkworms and selling their eggs. Miyama silkworm threads possess a remarkable combination of luster and flexibility. The exceptional beautiful silk produced by the Miyama silkworms earned the nickname Thread of the Heavens and enjoyed much prosperity. Legend has it that Miyama silkworms originated from the silkworms found sprouting out of the body of Princess Mayu. Oh, okay, so like the, the story. The silkworms have been cherished and revered as family heirlooms. The female silkworm moth serves as the crest of the Miyama family. Oh, well, good thing it's asking me to save. I'm not <laughs> going to be uh, murdered. Let's go. More money. I don't like... There's some wind blowing through here. Through our secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Where lovers go to die. <laughs> I knew it. A secret passageway. We're gonna go ahead and proceed. Secret tunnel. That's gonna be stuck in my head all day. Dang it. Hello, secret tunnel. It is I, your favorite tiefling. The red talisman is a protective charm used in the region from ancient times. It is made by dyeing paper with a crimson color believed to repel demons and drawing symbolic characters in black ink. The exact meaning of the symbols is unknown. It is speculated that they represent the sun deity as sunlight is believed to purify their negative energies. Oh. According to the village legend, when a demon approaches the talisman, it immediately emits a radiant light, torturing the demon as if it is being exercised. Huh. If a demon approaches the talisman, it emits a light that tortures it. So, okay, so kind of an interesting way to do a save mechanic that also indicates that this is probably a safe room. Hmm. The same portrait that's in Kinu's house. Ayano. What is this place? It's our secret tunnel. That maybe connects into the house? I hear you. I don't like that you're just standing there. You're gonna, you're gonna jump through like the moment that I come through here. And I hate that. I need you to not. Oh, she's gone. Please don't come in here. Uh, flint, an ignition tool by... An ignition tool used by hitting with a hammer and stone. Nice. Oh, nice. We have a man... We have a, a mansion map. We have a mansion map. Main house, first floor. What the heck? This is so... There's so many rooms. Change floor. Oh, no. Miyama Mansion. So this is the old Miyama residence. Let's go, painkillers. Oh, thanks. I hate that. I've been fortunate enough to have been accepted as the son-in-law of the Miyama family. My father and brother had always looked down on me, considering me weak and spineless. However, in the eyes of Lord QB, I am a loyal, trustworthy man. We have exchanged vows, and I eagerly await the joyful ceremony next spring. Ever since I laid eyes on her, Ayano's figure has been etched in my mind, her skin lightly glowing, and her sleek, shiny black hair. She often averts her gaze, but even the shadow cast by her long eyelashes on her cheeks is beautiful. I wanted to get Ayano's attention by any means necessary, so I decided to show her my collection of butterfly samples. I hope that the colorful butterflies would bring her joy. Ayano said, I've never seen such beautiful butterflies before, but her expression was that of melancholy. When I asked her if she disliked butterflies, she replied, I like butterflies. However, I don't like seeing them trapped and confined. I just want to watch them fly in their natural state. Her words struck me to my core. So this was written when grandpa was young? Oh. 
Makes sense. Um, I'm going to go back here to the red talisman and just save real quick because we're kind of hitting a whole new chapter here. So I want to save and be prepared for the next episode. Thank you so much to all party members that came out today. I hope you're enjoying the hollow cocoon so far. It has been, <laughs> it has been quite the experience and I'm excited to explore more of this old residency and see what it has to offer. So I will see you in the next one where we're hopefully not turned into a silkworm or a cocoon. <laughs> Bye.